Cancer can become the leading cause of death globally by 2060 if we're not aware of what's causing the rise in cancer cases. It is called a hidden epidemic because it's happening quietly without much public awareness. But what could be the real reason behind this? In this video we'll explore the hidden cancer epidemic of our generation. We'll talk about lifestyle factors, the birth cohort effect, the importance of early detection, and how you can protect yourself from this epidemic. Let's explore the silent culprits that may be putting you at risk. When we think about cancer, we often picture factors beyond our control. But research shows that many lifestyle choices play a big role in cancer risk, especially for younger adults. These choices are things we make every day, often without realizing their impact. One of the biggest factors is obesity. Being overweight is linked to 10 out of 17 cancers that are becoming more common in younger people. This includes millennials and Gen Xers. But it's not just about weight. How we live our daily lives matters too. Many of us spend a lot of time sitting. Whether it's at work, watching TV, or using our phones, this sedentary lifestyle can increase our cancer risk. What we eat is another big part of the picture. Our diets have changed a lot over the years. Many people don't eat enough fruits and vegetables. Instead, we're eating more processed foods and sugary drinks. This shift in diet is linked to higher cancer rates, especially colorectal cancer. Studies say that drinking more than two sugary drinks a day can double the risk of early colorectal cancer in women. That's compared to women who drink less than one sugary drink a day. Alcohol is another concern. Drinking too much can increase cancer risk, especially when combined with other unhealthy habits. It's not just about heavy drinking either. Even moderate alcohol use can add to your risk over time. But there's good news too. The American Cancer Society says that up to 40% of cancers could be prevented by changing our lifestyle. Eating more whole foods and less processed items can make a big difference. Studies show that diets with mostly unprocessed foods are linked to lower colorectal cancer risk. While these lifestyle factors are important, it's not the whole story. Genes and our environment play a role too. But focusing on what we can control is a great place to start. While we can change many habits, there's one thing about ourselves we can't alter, when we were born. What if your birth year was quietly increasing your cancer risk without you knowing? This idea is part of what scientists call the birth cohort effect. It means that each new generation might have a higher risk of getting cancer than the one before. This isn't because of genetics, it's about the world we grow up in. Think about how different life is now compared to 50 years ago. The food we eat, the air we breathe, and even the products we use have all changed. These changes start affecting us from the moment we're born. Over time, they can add up to increase our cancer risk. Research from Harvard shows this effect in action. They found that people born in 1960 had a higher chance of getting cancer before age 50 than those born in 1950 and the trend continues. Each decade, the risk seems to go up. Dr. Shuji Ogino from Harvard says, We found that this risk is increasing with each generation. This means that someone born in the 1990s might face a higher cancer risk than someone just 10 years older. But why is this happening? It's not just one thing. It's a mix of many factors. Our diets have changed a lot. We also move less and sit more. All these changes affect our bodies in ways we're just starting to understand. Scientists use a term called the exposome to describe all the things we're exposed to in our lives. This includes what we eat, drink, and breathe. It also includes things like stress and sleep patterns. Knowing about this risk can help us take action. Even if we can't change when we were born, we can change how we live now. By understanding these risks, younger people can make choices to protect their health. This doesn't mean that everyone born after a certain year will get cancer, it just means the risk is higher. But risk isn't destiny. There's a lot we can do to lower our chances of getting cancer. 
Now that we know this information, let's discuss how we can prevent advanced stages of certain cancers. One of the most powerful tools we have against cancer is early detection and isn't high-tech at all. It is so simple that you might be surprised how many lives it could save. Catching cancer early can make a big difference in how well treatment works. But here's the problem. Many young people don't know they need to be checked. They might think cancer only happens to older folks. This leads to a dangerous situation where cancer in younger people is often found when it's already spread. The American Cancer Society noticed this trend and took action. They changed their advice for when people should start getting checked for colorectal cancer. Now, they say you should start getting checked at 45 years old instead of 50. It's not just colorectal cancer that's a concern for younger people. Other types of cancer are also showing up more in those under 50. This means we need to think differently about when to start looking for cancer. Take charge of your health by talking to your doctor about your own health history and your family's health history. This chat can help you and your doctor make a plan for when you should get checked for different types of cancer. One big worry is that many young patients don't know what signs to look out for. They might ignore symptoms that should send them to the doctor right away. This can lead to delays in finding cancer, which makes it harder to treat. That's why it's so important to learn about the signs of early cancer. If you know what to look for, you can get help sooner. This knowledge gives you power over your health. Remember, these screenings aren't just for people who feel sick. Many times, cancer doesn't cause any symptoms at first. That's why regular checkups are so important. Some people worry about cancer screenings. They might think they're scary or uncomfortable. But the truth is, these tests are usually quick and easy. And the peace of mind they give you is worth it. Think about it this way. If you had a car, you wouldn't wait for it to break down before you took it to the mechanic. You'd get regular oil changes and checkups to keep it running smoothly. Your body deserves the same care and attention. Taking care of your body is crucial, but sometimes the biggest threats are hidden in plain sight. The power to reduce your cancer risk might be in your hands right now. Let's explore some easy steps you can take to protect yourself and your loved ones. One of the most important things you can do is watch what you eat. Research shows that eating more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can lower your cancer risk. These foods are full of good nutrients that help your body stay healthy. On the flip side, eating too much processed food and drinking sugary drinks can increase your risk. Try swapping out one sugary drink a day for water or unsweetened tea. Moving your body more is another key way to fight cancer. You don't need to run marathons or become a gym rat. Even simple things like taking a walk after dinner or dancing to your favorite songs can help. The goal is to sit less and move more throughout your day. This not only helps keep your weight in check, but also boosts your overall health. Stress is another factor that can affect your cancer risk. While we can't avoid all stress, finding healthy ways to manage it is important. This could mean trying meditation, deep breathing exercises, or spending time in nature. Remember, taking care of your mental health is just as important as taking care of your physical health. It's also crucial to be aware of your own body and any changes you notice. If something doesn't feel right, don't ignore it. Talk to your doctor about any concerns you have, no matter how small they might seem. While these changes might seem small, they can add up to make a big difference in your cancer risk. It's about creating a lifestyle that supports your health in the long run. Start with one or two changes and build from there. Every step you take is a step towards a healthier future. Remember, these lifestyle changes don't just help prevent cancer. They can also lower your risk of other health problems like heart disease and diabetes. By taking care of your body now, you're investing in your future health. And there we have it, the hidden cancer epidemic of our generation. We've learned about a hidden cancer crisis affecting younger generations, and the good news is, you can fight back. Together, we can change the path of this hidden epidemic. By making smart choices now, you can build yourself a healthier future. 
We'd love to hear from you. Do you have any healthy habits that lower your risk of getting cancer? Share your comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and hit the bell icon so you never miss our latest health tips. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, please consider showing your support with a super thanks or checking out our merchandise for some fantastic finds. Your support helps us continue to bring you valuable content to improve your health and wellness. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.